Right guys, this is my new toy that I've just got. So, I've got the mini key, so I'm gonna do a second key. Um, so, I struggled a bit with this when I first got it, uh, because these uh, the cutters have the sizes on, but the, the guides don't. So, I just looked at them and thought, they're close enough, and uh, end up cutting the key a little bit too big <laughs> so uh, I end up getting my gauge out and measuring it and getting it right so the last few keys I've cut it's been spot on so what we do is we put the guy the this guide in and uh, push it right up to the top it doesn't fit in all the way like in both of them like so we'll do that put that in all the way at to the top, tighten her up, and that's that. So what I what I've been doing is I've been getting the cutter down to where it needs to be and tightening it up. So just a little tiny bit more. So that's where it should be there. So you can just see it's going to land on top and that's where I start cutting from. So start cutting. <laughs> it's going nice and slow. You just let the cutter do the work. Uh, if you do get one of these, make sure you make sure make sure <laughs> that everything's tightened down because that's what happened to the belt. It slipped, and uh, that's why it's making that noise because I think the belt's stretched now. There is a spare that comes in the kit, but it's not what you wanna you wanna hear when you first start uh, when you've not long had the machine. So that's it cut there. So. I'll turn it over. They should be the same on both sides, but I'm just gonna turn the key over so they're exactly the same. So that it will be the same on the other side. See? But I'll just turn it over anyway, just peace of mind. And then same again. Make sure it's all into all the corners, which it is. Uh, Look for things. This. So I will change that um, belt. <laughs> so put that back in the original key. Just go over to my belt sander, have my bench grinder, and I'm just gonna. Yeah, it feels perfect. So that looks spot on. 
It does actually look spot on that, so it should work that. So let's go and test it out. Okay, so that's the key. So oh, it's a bit stiff getting in. There we go. Locked and unlocked. Yes, yeah, spot on that. Yeah, spot on. So that's two keys for it. Just need to program one in. So yeah guys, there we go. Just cut a key. Um I ordered it from AliExpress. Not a bad little machine. It does come with a spare belt. I do need to put a, a new belt on. Because what happened um is this came loose. This here, so that's what I'm saying. You need to make sure everything's tight. Make sure this is tight, this is tight. I first started using it and it, the belt came off and it it uh destroyed itself really and you can see it's stretched. So that's not good. So make sure these are tight. Like I say, tighten everything up. Um, give it a clean out. It's a bloody good machine. I'm saving me a fortune doing these, cutting these keys myself. So, um, I am in the market now for a key cutter, uh, a key programmer. So I'm going to be looking out for one of them as well. Um, with this, if you do get one of these um, to use this. Uh, what I forgot to mention is when you first set it up and you put your, your guide and your cutter in just go over to the side go over to the side put your cutter at a certain length uh, keep your guide slack and then make sure they're both touching the side the, the bottom and then tighten your guide up so they're the same height really every time you cut a key you want to be checking to make sure they're the same same depth if you don't want to cut right through which i end up doing I end up cutting right through a key so it was actually the first one of this uh, i ended up cutting through um i went straight through the middle so that's why i ended up buying a spare case um so i've actually ordered another key now because the one that came originally um, to program in, I did it with uh, my clone tool, um, and I just I took the chip out and cloned it with uh, my Exos um, clone tool clone device. Um, so this time I'm going to try and program one in with uh, BMW Explorer. So we'll see what happens. It's just that uh, with the clone tool you can't do the remote so the remote doesn't work so I didn't have to order this uh, spare case but I just did anyway so so yeah yeah good bit of kit I'm enjoying it um, quite like and cutting keys I just need myself a decent uh, key programmer programmer so we'll see we'll see what the future brings all right cheers guys if you like the video like and subscribe and uh, give us a comment um really appreciate it cheers